My wife found me having a grand mal seizure. Sam Bucket was diagnosed with glioblastoma, an aggressive form of brain cancer, 10 years ago when he was 33. No, Mr. Tingling. Just a little bit in the left arm. Now, Sam travels to Milwaukee from the Green Bay area for treatment. Hopefully, we can keep this tumor hibernated for as long as possible. He finished a clinical trial at Freighter and the Medical College of Wisconsin at the end of last year. Deep breath in and out. Glioblastoma is rare, but it's the most common cancer that starts in the brain. The trial, which opened in 2022, is for patients otherwise out of options. I already had exhausted the standard of care at that point, so I really didn't have anywhere else to turn. Dr. Jennifer Conley is a neuro-oncologist with the Freighter and MCW Brain and Spine Tumor Program. She's also the principal investigator of the clinical trial. In a rare disease like glioblastoma, where there is very limited treatment options, uh, this has been a very welcome addition. Cancer cells depend on iron to reproduce. The metal gallium is similar to iron and can also infiltrate cancer cells. We basically are tricking the cancer cell into bringing in what it thinks it needs, but it actually doesn't lead to cell growth. The trial uses oral gallium maltulate. We add three sugar molecules to it, so it is absorbed in the digestive system. Gallium is found in the Earth's crust. In hot water, it turns to liquid. It's not toxic. You can hold it in your hand. In preclinical studies, researchers at MCW also discovered it slows tumor growth and can reduce their size. And this was that new area that developed. Sam also had his fourth brain surgery earlier this year to remove new tumor growth. Areas that are red, yellow, and green suggest tumor activity. Sam's goal on this cancer journey, filled with ups and downs, is to just keep going. You just gotta feel lucky, because I've had some people that I've gotten close to through online support groups that have passed away. With two young daughters at home, that's all Sam needs to keep him moving forward. In Milwaukee, Courtney Garish, Spectrum News.